Hello and welcome to Kelly's Anesthesia Tips. I have a whole list of great ideas that I am trying to work on for YouTube videos, but I got a little bit of feedback from one of my subscribers asking for the COVID and OB. I can do the COVID rather quickly, so I'm going to do that one today. And just let you know that the ones that I'm working on with other people, it's a little bit more difficult, especially this time of year, for us to coordinate our schedules. So they're on the back burner, but I will not forget them. The COVID one that I'm going to share with you are just some great resources and to let you know what I'm finding. This is a new area for all of us and particularly for anesthesia coders because we are dipping our toes in an area of coding that we haven't ever really had to dip into before, particularly with audio and video visits. So I am going to give resources for this. I, I recently did a review and I know I had to do some education for this so I thought this is a great topic. The first resource is a walkthrough of the telemedicine billing tips and I believe this was published by the AMA but I found it, no, no it might have been the Texas Medical Association, yes thank you Texas Medical Association but I found it on our floridamedical.org website. I'm going to send each of these or attach each of these in the description so that you can find these as well but the you know the diagnosis coding was fairly straightforward but the procedure coding just gets a little bit confusing. So this is a walkthrough tree where it asks, does it involve the use of video or pictures? If it does not, then you go down to, will it determine if an office visit is ne necessary? And just follow this tree all the way down to get to your correct coding. If it does involve video or pictures, and realize that places are going to be different depending on your facilities and how your Anna, <clears throat> pardon me, how your anesthesia group is handling this. But this tree will help you figure this out. It's very easy to follow. So this is the first resource that I'm going to share for you. And then I have another one that was a comparison between Medicare and this came off the AMA website. It was last updated December the 3rd third of this year so it is still a good current resource and it'll break this down by state for you and maybe give you some information that's specific to your area. I will also include a link to the CMS government Medicare Telemedicine Healthcare Provider and Fact Sheet. This is an official website and here's how you know. And then the last resource that I'm going to include for you is a Medicare Learning Network fact sheet. And then I just encourage you that if you have a Medicare administrative contractor that is offering you a telehealth service, you know, uh, video call or web education, go ahead and take it if you are providing these types of services. Whether you're a certified coder or not, you can get AAPC credits for listening to Medicare Learning Network. And if you're a non-certified coder, you still need the education to include in how you keep up to date with your industry. And this is definitely an area that is new to all of us. So that's it for today. I just wanted to give you a quick COVID-19 uh, resource that will help you. And I'd like to wish everyone a particularly happy holiday season. I hope everyone is in, uh, you know, gets to spend time with their families. And just remember, whether it's family or your work family, be kind to one another and generous, generous with your knowledge. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your patience. I do hope to get back to these a little bit better um, with my YouTube list that I have of topics and ideas, but you are always free to drop them. I do read the comments. Everyone, thank you and enjoy your holidays.